Hello, I'm David W. Parker. This is Programming Today I Learned, Rails Episode 6. This is going to be another short one where we look at a gem. We didn't actually cover Simple Cove last time, so we're going to just briefly show you that and how it can be useful to use within your application. So as you recall, we have this simple gem, and we're going to go ahead and just install that with bundle install, of course. And let's take a look at, you know, we ran this spec here, and then you can see it says coverage report generated for our spec, and then it tells you the path to that. So if we go ahead and load that path uh, within our um, file system here, you could see this is basically what it looks like. And I have um, spec helper, I believe. Yes. So here's our groups that I've defined, and you can define your own. Um, ba basically, these are what you'll see up across the top here. And it shows you your code coverage percentage. Now, I'm not a personal stickler for having 100% code coverage. I think it's overkill. I think you need to test the parts of your application that are super critical to have correct and that, if changed, may demolish your business or your company or your startup or whatever you're working on your side project. If you're just doing something for fun and you don't have people paying you and you don't necessarily need coverage, then don't write tests. If you just want to run fast and do things crazy, that's fun too. But for people who need coverage within certain areas of their application when it's you know business critical, I think this is a great tool to help explore areas that may be lacking in tests. Now, just because it has 100% coverage within a given area doesn't mean that that's actually covered 100%. It just means that that code has been covered or been ran. So there may be areas that are lacking, but I would say for the most part, this is probably going to be one of the better tools that you'll get. So when I run that pink controller, you could see this is actually what ends up getting covered. So I have auth here, um, authenticate user, etc. cetera. Um, and then if I run, I can look at the user model was loaded and the for display was run, for example. Uh, if I wanted to go back to my request spec here, and let's say I don't, um, let's just go ahead and comment both of these out and then run it again, give it a second to run. And then we look back at this. Uh, you'll see the pin controller dropped down here and it didn't run this. So now I know I need to add tests for that. So it's like I said, it's a very simple way to see where your coverage is and where you're missing. Again, I don't subscribe to 100% coverage on all the things, but mission critical. So take a look. It's a good gem, and I will see you next time.